ranking every course in the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Booster Course Pass Wave 1. Ready, go! At number 8 we have Toad Circuit. It's bland, basic, and somehow looks worse than it did on 3DS. Number 7, Chaco Mountain. It's just a boring track from start to finish. The falling rocks are the only thing that make it stand out at all. Number 6, Sky Garden, which isn't all that bad, but it's so straightforward and is ranked this low because of the missed potential. This should have been great. Number 5, Paris Promenade. I like this track. The aesthetic is nice, and while it's not memorable, it's fun to race around. Number 4, Tokyo Blur. This one's only slightly better than Paris, because there's a more interesting layout with cooler set pieces. Number 3, Coconut Mall. This track is just as fun as it was on Wii, though the cars at the end suck and the lack of environment detail is a serious letdown once again. Number 2, Shroom Ridge, only because of the dope-ass music and the nice shortcuts. And number 1 is obviously Ninja Hideaway. It's got a structure unlike any other Mario Kart track, and it's visually gorgeous. We need more tracks like this.